Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are gonna start off with the Primed and Peachy. So it's a cooling matte skin perfecting primer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So let's try this out. I always like to smell everything. It's this really cute peachy color. So before I got started, I did do my normal skincare routine. Um, I'm still using Zio Skin Health. Oh, this feels really nice, you guys. It is really cooling. Um, it feels really good. It smells really good. I like the way that this is going on. Okay, got another glob. Let's put that on up here. I really like laying down my primer pretty thick. Getting it really good and like my fine lines along the side here so that the foundation does not lay down there. Okay. So I really like the way that this laid down. It smells amazing. Um, it is really cool how it has that cooling effect. I'm not quite sure how they do that, but typically as I'm doing my makeup, I'll be a little bit warm and my whole face feels super cool and amazing. So love this product so far. Let's see how the foundation lays down on top of this. Okay, so the next product we're gonna try out is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. So it comes like this says oil free 14 hour wear oil controlling photo friendly love that let's see what color did I go with here I got snow let's see how this works out for me I'm not a hundred percent sure what color I am okay so I did already moisten this beauty blender before we got started. I feel like snow is working for me. I mean, that was a lucky guess to be quite honest because I did not know what color I was, but I'm pretty happy with it. My grandma always told me that I have a peaches and cream complexion, so I was like, oh, how cute is this? Okay, so I feel like this is definitely um, more of like a light coverage. It's not super heavy and thick. I'm sure that you could build it up to be a more full coverage. But right now, I feel like I'm definitely having to try to like build it up quite a bit. I do like that this collection has that fresh um, peachy scent. It's not overpowering. It's really nice and subtle. It just smells really clean. I don't like it when something is like too florally or too fruity. I just feel like it like overpowers your face. trying to cover up all those like sunspots. So yeah, this is definitely a lighter coverage. Um, I think that, I mean, I like this. I'm more of a full coverage kind of a girl. Um, but I would think for like the summer months, if you just wanted like a light sun kissed, like glow, this would work. But if you're looking for full coverage, this is definitely not full coverage. So for concealer, I'm gonna use Beauty Blender um, Bounce in 1.5C. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like my concealer to be a little bit lighter than my foundation. I just feel like it really lightens um, and brightens up your face. Okay. 
Now that's some full coverage right there. You guys can watch my review. I have another video of all Beauty Blender and I absolutely love their product. Setting powder. It smells like peaches. It's amazing. I snapped the cap off the top so I could get to it easier. But let's set underneath your eyes. I absolutely love this product. This product I have used for a while now. All right, let's let that bake. With Sugar Peach, it's wet and dry face and eye palette. Okay, so it comes in a box like this. So, it had a little pamphlet in here when I opened it up. But this is what the case looks like. Super cute. Let's see what the product actually looks like. Oh, these are pretty. Okay. So, those are kind of hard to see in my light. I know, I'm sorry. So, we have pearl, peach pearl. We have sugared peach. We have um, peach honey and peach pop. So, let's dive in with the peach honey and the sugar peach and use that as our bronzer kind of contour and bronze. So we're just gonna dip into both of those. Okay, so we're gonna just take a little bit of MAC Studio Fix Plus in the NW20 um, and just sort of clean up some of these edges, blend it in better so that it's just more of a natural like sun-kissed glow. Okay guys, I have to tell you, I absolutely love, love, love this wet and dry palette. So I mixed the two bronzers there is like a blush and it almost looks like a highlighter. We'll come back to that because I didn't know exactly what colors I was gonna get in the palette, so I got a blush as well. So let's try that out. As you can see, I've sort of smoothed out my contour. It's just like a really pretty natural sun-kissed glow and it is stunning, like I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the next product we're gonna jump into is Papa Don't Peach Blush. It's super, super cute. Um, it's almost like an old school sort of tin. Um, I love the packaging. You guys know I'm all about packaging. I have so much fun with it. Um, let's apply this and see what we think. Okay. So far, you guys, I am absolutely loving this collection. It's so cute. It's so perfect if you have like a peaches and cream complexion. It just gives you such a really pretty natural glow. It's stunning. I love that. It's just like a little kiss, um, but I think it's perfect. I'm happy with this product as well. So the next product we got is the eyeshadow palette. This comes in that cute little tin as well. Um, packaging is super cute. Um, I love the color story in here. So you've got a lot of neutrals, but then you've got some really nice darks in here as well. Um, it looks like there's a couple shimmery options, which I'm excited about. But I think since we're kind of going for like a peachy sun glow look, Let's just stick with it and see what you guys think. All right, before we lay down any shadow, I didn't see any like eyeshadow primer. They may have it, I just missed it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with my MAC Painterly Pop. So let's jump in with this really cute eyeshadow palette. We're gonna go in with peaches and cream. Just go over the whole eye. I 
I think that color is really stunning. Like it could just be worn by itself really at this point if you wanted to just go for a really natural look. But I want to dig into some of the other colors and see what all we can do with this. I think that we should jump in with caramelized. It's right here. Let's jump into this color and just start building up. I really like how this is laying down. Um, it doesn't seem to have too much fallout. I will definitely let you guys know what I think at the end. I definitely love, love, love um, these colors. Okay, we're gonna just take the same brush and let's dip into a little bit darker color and kind of build up on that. So I'm just going to go in with um, Charmed, I'm sure. And we're just going to deepen that up. Okay, now we're going to dip into this purple color. It's called Delectable. And maybe a little bit of Peach Pit too. And I'm just going to use the same brush I've been using. We're just gonna add some depth and dimension to that. There does seem to be a lot more fallout in the purple colors, that's for sure. Okay, so I just took it like basically to my pupil and then we're gonna add some lighter colors in there. Okay, I think we need to build up just a little bit more over here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna clean off this brush and now we're gonna dive in with white peach. It's up here in the corner and just soften up around the brow. I definitely feel like it's blending out really nicely. definitely soften that up let's see I think I'm gonna go with this sparkly pink called caramelized on my actual lid let's see what we think I'm just gonna use my finger it's really soft it has just a hint of sparkle in it ooh that's pretty I really, really like that. Now, I think that we should go back in with the caramelized and just go right underneath, just to kind of tie that all together.
put just peachy on our lid too and see what we think. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna clean up some of the edges. I'm gonna get some hair, some lashes, some brows on. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys, I am back. So I finished up my brows, did my lashes, and put on a really cute lip color um, and put my hair on. This is my Mora Mode wig in the Chloe. Um, love it, worth every penny. Um, so final thoughts, what do I think about the Too Faced collection? Overall, loved everything from the peachy line that I did get a chance to try super happy with it um some of the colors in the shadow did have a bit of fallout um i would probably say that the winner of this collection is probably the cooling matte primer this was unbelievable i don't know how they make this product but i'm super happy with it and i love it and then i would say um what comes in a close what comes in a close second would be this face um it's face and eye palette and it's wet to dry this is stunning um loved it so much so the last product that i have to try is the peach mist matte setting spray so now that we've got this face on let's set it and that is it I love this product. I've been using it for over a year now, so I already knew I liked it. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you on the next one.